Before we highlight the best information from this trailer, I will show a slowed down version so we can have a good look on everything. Now let's take a look at all the important information we can gather from the trailer. Here a new muscle car, the Dodge Challenger. And the wheels already give away that this is a NASCAR version. But hopefully, it can also be customized into a street version because that would look much better. And here a SUV-like car that is based on the Mitsubishi Pajaro Evolution. Who will buy this? We are already familiar with this helicopter, the Kanata, but now we can also equip it with weapons. You already now can buy the normal version in the Alita's travel store, so I think the new one will be available at war stock. Here's the plane again that we saw earlier on the aircraft carrier. This one is based on the DHC-6 Twin Otter Guardian 400. This airplane is used in real life as a spy plane, cargo plane, paratrooper plane, and passenger plane. So we can possibly expect a lot from it in the game. I think the front landing gear of this aircraft is retractable, but the rear ones are fixed. This provides exceptional stability and maneuverability, making it ideal for various missions and terrains. In this footage you see a lot more than you think. On the left side, there's the new operations terminal to initiate the new Meriwether missions. You can see this particularly well in this clip later in the trailer. And here you can see the thruster parked, just like you can park the MK2 in the terabyte. This is an important upgrade because previously, when you parked the Avenger on autopilot in the air, you could jump out with a vehicle, but you couldn't get back in. Now, with the thruster, you can fly back to the Avenger hanging in the air and spawn inside it again. It has truly become an airbase now. Here the new tactical SMG that will become the best weapon you can use when driving a car. Here a new some kind of modern trophy truck. It looks like this will be the new best off-road vehicle in the game. And here's the confirmation that the F-35 is the F-35B variant capable of vertical landing and takeoff. It's truly going to be a versatile powerhouse that also looks amazing. In the cockpit, there is a lot of info visible about weapons and the status of the aircraft. Hopefully, they actually work. So far, those are all the major things I could find in the trailer. Rockstar mentioned in the newswire that we can expect more information about the new DLC later this week, so stay tuned.